I think some Germans are a bit precious about who they can insult because they subconsciously resent having to give up cursing Jews publicly. It's like, now you want to change the name of a condiment? Reicht's irgendwann? I've never really understood the dominant culture's fear of cultural loss, especially for such an unenviable cuisine. It's a real shortcoming in my analytical arsenal. It just strikes me as a manifestation of preemptive post-supremacy anxiety syndrome. Pe Pepsas. It's a good name for sauce. No, but really, I like ketchup. If someone said, oh, it's actually a term that's painful to a group of people who associate the name with their ongoing persecution and we're going to call it something else, I think I could live with that. Our brains are very malleable. We adopt neologisms like wildfire. Of course, it's jarring that the descendants of those who were persecuted as gypsies remain one of the most persecuted minorities in Europe today. Surely that's a bigger issue than the sauce, and I hope that the debate puts the realities of Roma and Sinti life in Europe in the spotlight. I understand the fear that focusing on symbolic harm or symbolic victory eclipses the issue of material harm. I just don't think anyone whining about renaming Z sauce is genuinely concerned about that. In any case, a delineation between symbolic and material harm is pretty impossible to make. Certainly wild to tell the aggrieved party what really matters. Perhaps symbolic victories are much, or as much about exposing the refusal to grant them and what that reveals about a society. In that sense, this TV show confirms that Roma and Sinti are not yet at the stage where the dominant society is willing to give up its very important right to have a condiment reminiscent of a national socialist racial category. They've settled on their remembrance laurels and now nothing may ever change. Never again, as in no further sorries.